Welcome to the MathCat video channel. If you haven't already, please take a second right now and subscribe to the MathCat channel by clicking on the icon in the corner of the screen. In this video, I will be giving the formula for permutations for words that do not have duplicate letters and the words formed do not repeat letters. Stay tuned at the end and I will have links to videos that cover those two special cases. And thanks for watching. Let's do a lesson on permutations without repeating letters. We'll start with an example, the word pen, with three letters in it. How many ways can we make three letter words using the letters in the word pen? We can list them. We'll kind of be organized about it. We'll start with the letter P first, then the letter E first, and then the letter N first. And you can see there are six ways to do it. This is called the permutation of three things taken three at a time. We use the letter N to mean three things, the letters in the word pen. We use the letter R to say three at a time. We want to make words with three letters in them. We use the letter P for permutation. Then we write it as a subscripted N, big P, and then a subscripted R. And in this case, we have a subscripted three, three things taken three at a time, subscripted three again. And it equals six from our example. But let's see the formula that makes it equal 6. So permutation of n things taken r at a time equals n factorial over, and then we take the difference, n minus r factorial. In this case, we had three things taken three at a time, so n is 3, so we have 3 factorial divided by, and then n minus r is 3 minus 3 factorial which equals 3 factorials, 3 times 2 times 1, and of course 3 minus 3 is 0 factorial, but that has a definition. 0 factorial is actually equal to 1. So you can see we have 3 times 2, which is 6, and that's how we got our answer. Let's do another example. Let's take the letters in the word stop, four letters. How many ways can we make two-letter words given the four letters in the word stop? Well, we would write that like this, the permutation of four things, four letters in the word stop, taken two at a time, because we want to form two letter words in this case. That would be the permutation of four things taken two at a time, 4P2. And that equals n factorial is 4 factorial, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, divided by the difference n minus r, in this case 4 minus 2 factorial. And of course, 4 minus 2 factorial is 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1. And we can divide out the 2's, we can divide out the 1's, and we're left with 4 times 3, which is 12, which is our answer. And we can check that by actually listing the two letter words that we can make from the letters in the word stop. We'll just list them. And there they are, the 12 ways. That's how you calculate the number of permutations you can make from an original word without repeating the letters. I'm going to put up a link right now to a video that shows you how to calculate the number of permutations you can make if you can repeat the letters. And then I have one more video, I'm going to put up a link right now, that shows you what to do if the original word has one or more sets of repeating letters, but the permutations cannot repeat beyond that in the original word. Then you'll have all the calculations you need. If you haven't already, please take a second right now and subscribe to the MathCat channel. That way you'll know when new videos come out. You can do that, and I'm going to give you a second. Click on the icon right now in the corner of the screen. Also, just below that, give this video a thumbs up and like this video. Find the icon there and do that. You can write any questions or comments you have in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.